everyone, welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. I've started the video in a weird location today because as you can see I'm in Nook's Cranny and there's new items behind me. Everything's looking really cute and then if you just look to the right, they're selling a skeleton. <laughs> and that is like a life-size skeleton item, like that skull would be the exact size of the skull of my character. Absolutely terrifying. Love that for me, love that for my island. Thank you, Timmy and Tommy. I did not realise that getting new items in the game meant you would start selling dead bodies in your shop. I love that for you. <laughs> I just thought I would show you that before I continue. <laughs> so I did actually just stop recording my first video of this update when I realised that I forgot to do something. I need to bury my gyroid and other than that, I do actually have the money to pay off an RV in Harv's Island, so we're gonna go there now and pay one off. Okay, so here we are. Oh my goodness, look at Harvey playing his tambourine. Hi Harvey, he's so cute, oh my goodness. So, as you can probably guess, I am going to pay off Tortimer's RV. Oh look, Harriet's just walking around. Harv is working so hard to get the shops here, it's so so great to see him more energetic than before. Okay, so I am actually here to pay off Tortimer's RV. Hello, good friend. We are accepting donations to fund an old timer who'll give you access to your home storage, mate. 20,000 bells, I've got enough. If you're wondering, Lulu, how did you get so many bells? My friend Michelle sent me loads of gold nuggets to sell and I made 600,000 bells. I'm sorry, what? Thank you so much, Michelle, if you're watching. I love you so much. And so, we've paid off. The new car will open soon. Yay! All right, we've reached our donation goal. So I imagine Tortima will turn up tomorrow, which is really exciting. I will make sure to record tomorrow because we've got to go meet Brewster and everything. But that's all I needed to do here. So now let's head home and we can bury my gyroid. Okay, so I want to make sure to bury it somewhere I'm going to remember where it is. I have this like perfect little square right in front of my mailbox. So I think we should bury it here. I think this is what I meant to do anyway. The game gave me no instructions. I only know this because of the trailer. So we're meant to bury this and then we're meant to water it and hopefully we should have a gyroid in the morning. So if we water it, does anything happen? <gasps> Smoke is coming out. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's so weird. Oh my gosh. I was so excited to find out what gyroid we get in the morning. I was just so excited and I also forgot to show Brewster's photo. So Brothers gave us this. I didn't realize it was an actual item. So I guess we can keep this and look how cute he is. Isn't it so cute that Blathers just had this framed picture of Brewster that he just carries around in his pocket? I'm sorry, isn't that adorable? They're such a cute couple. Love them. And let's see what it says. He was born on October 15th. He's a Libra. And his favorite saying is, drink it hot or give it up. <laughs> Classic Brewster. Oh, I love it so much. I can't wait to put that in my house. But that's it for today. So I guess I'll transition now to me playing tomorrow. So I'll see you in a minute. I'm so excited. Bye. <laughs> Hi again everyone, good morning, it's 7.53am, the most fashionable of the Able Sisters, Label, is visiting us on Lil Land today. The most fashionable? I didn't realize we were picking favorites, Isabel. Oh my goodness. I love that they've given Isabel things to actually tell us now other than her sock is missing. Hello, good morning, here I am in my pajamas. And today we are going to be doing many things. So since it's the morning, I thought we could do some breakfast. I'm really excited to do some cooking in the game and to get breakfast we're gonna have to do some fishing so we're gonna do some early morning well it's not that early but we're going to be doing some morning fishing to catch some breakfast which I'm really excited to do I hope you guys like my pajamas I showed my boyfriend this pajama outfit and he said it looks exactly like how my pajamas look in real life so if I could I would have this bunny t-shirt with ruby on the front I love it and <laughs> the unicorn pants they're so good they look exactly like my pajama bottoms so let's see for our breakfast we're going to be needing a sea bass hopefully it doesn't oh my goodness why do I always do that <laughs> I'm too tired guys oh my goodness hopefully we can catch this one. Oh my goodness what am I doing <laughs> okay okay yes Yay, it's a sea bass. I've never been so happy to catch one. No way, it's at least a sea plus. I could cook something with this fish. Yeah, I've come up with a recipe for sea bass pie. Sea bass pie? Oh my goodness, we learn more DIY recipes from catching things. Oh my goodness, look how cute that is. We can't make that today though, because we need flour for it. And we don't have the stuff to make flour. But we are going to be making sea bass 
breakfast and I'm going to need some weeds for that. So let me just walk around for a bit and I can pick up any weeds I see. And then we can head back to my house and make some breakfast. I'm so excited. I love coming onto the game and actually being able to play it. Like probably like it's really nice to wake up my character in her pajamas and go make food and have like actual things to do in the game other than decorate. It's really, really cute and nice. Also, in case you're wondering, it's not actually seven in the morning. So it would be better at this time of day. There's some more up here, luckily. It's funny because I usually have no trouble at all finding weeds, but I've been playing on my island more recently, so I have a lot less weeds because I'm picking them all up. So now I'm actually struggling to find the weeds I need to make the sea bass. Let's check in my fairy forest. Oh, luckily there's one here. Awesome. Yay! So let's head home and get cooking. Please excuse the mess in my house. <laughs> Okay, so here we are in my kitchen, and let's see. We can actually cook with the oven item. Oh my goodness, yes. Yay, I'm so happy. So let's cook some grilled sea bass with herbs. Look at it. Oh my goodness, this is like cooking mama or something. That looks so nice. Oh my goodness, I'm actually really hungry now. <laughs> okay, let's make it. Let's prep. Oh my goodness, it actually looks like we're cooking it in the frying pan. Yay, oh my goodness. I made some grilled sea bass of herbs. Doesn't that look so good? Oh my gosh. Oh, I've just noticed my ramen item has steam coming off of it now. Does this count as a food item now as well? It does. Let's place our sea bass. Look how cute it is as an item. It looks so nice. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that I just cooked a sea bass in Animal Crossing. This has literally been my exact dream. Since the day I first ever played it when I was 10 years old, playing Animal Crossing Wild World. Well, I probably have been eight years old, actually. That was my exact idea. I had this oven item in my house and I went up to it and was like, I wonder if I catch a sea bass if I put it on this oven, if it'll cook and it didn't. But now it actually does. And I'm 22 and it actually does now. So what happens if we eat it? I'm excited to see. Here we go. <laughs> the animation's so cute. Oh my goodness, it gave us five. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love that. I wonder if different food items give you different amounts. This is so cute. I love it. Oh, I can also cook with the system kitchen. I love that. I love this so much. So we can also make some cherry smoothies. So I did actually get some cherries so we can make one. So let's make one of these too. Ta-da! Look what I made, a cherry smoothie. It's so cute. I love that it's in a little mason jar. It's so adorable. Okay, so while we're here in my garden, I guess it's time we dig up our gyroid and see what we got. Okay, it worked. Look, I dug up a tremoloid. A tremoloid? I'm excited to see what that looks like. Oh my goodness, let's see. Oh my goodness, it's white and blue. Oh my goodness. It's so worried. It's so nervous and worried. That's, that's me and my anxiety disorder. He's trembling with fear. I love him. That's me. <laughs> He's not the cutest, but he looks so sad. I can't help but love him. <laughs> it's so nice to have these back in the game. Oh my goodness. It's really hard to hear it, but you can kind of hear it. Maybe you guys won't be able to because I usually turn the game volume down so you can hear me better. But he's making a really cute little noise right now. I love that. I'm going to find a nice place for him. Whether it's in my house or on my island, he's going to be well looked after with me. Don't you guys worry. So since it's early in the morning and we've had our breakfast, I think it's about time we do some early morning stretching. What do you guys think? So let's head to resident services and see if we can do a little workout. First of all, I've got to change into my workout clothes though. <laughs> okay, so let's get stretching. It's a tape deck for group stretching. Let's stretch. Okay, so I'm going to be using the controller while I play with you guys, but I promise you I will play with the Joy-Cons off camera and actually do the stretches because I'm really that sad and lonely that I will actually do that. Um, so I will do that off camera and I'll let you guys know what it's like. But for now, we're doing it with the controller. It's another great day to stretch. Okay, push L up to stand up straight. Oh my goodness, I'm out of time with everyone. Oh, I have to keep doing it. Okay. Oh, this is actually quite difficult. It's like a rhythm game. Rotate arms. Wait. Oh, I did it. I did it. I think I did it right. Oh no, I think I'm out of time with everyone. <laughs> 
goodness, look at Tom Nook wearing his little workout clothes. Oh my goodness. I'm out of time, but I am, I'm doing it. Yes. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. What is this? <gasps> oh. My goodness. This is amazing. I love, I love that sleigh bells here as well. <laughs> she came to just sell her clothes and she's just like, I'm here to exercise too. These are the ones that confuse me. Oh my goodness, look how cute that is. Oh no, I'm out of time. This is so cute. I'm just doing complete opposite to everyone else. BBB. Oh my goodness, we're jumping. This is so cute. This is adorable. This would actually give you a really good stretch in the morning though. I'm really excited to do this in real life with my villagers. This is so cute. I love it. Yay, we did it. Everyone's happy. <laughs> okay, that was so much fun, wasn't it? I was so excited to do that when I saw it in the trailer. I have not done that since I played Animal Crossing Population Growing, which was quite a few years ago. It's really nice that the group stretching is like actually super interactive now. Also, last time I forgot to check in with Tom Nook about the house renovation, so now we're gonna do that. Ah, Lulu, hello, hello. That reminds me, there's something I wanted to tell you. I'm now offering full house designs as customization options. Yes, yes. More than roofs or siding, a new house design can drastically change the entire shape of your home. I find that quite exciting. Give it a thought, hmm? Now, we can customize the outside of your home for 5,000 bells. Okay, so we have four options. Okay, it's like a big townhouse. We've got a zen style home. And this little house, this is like Melba's house. Okay, this is cute. We can kind of have our house match the villagers' houses. What sort of colour options do we have? We can have thatch roofs. Okay, so we can also have a white house, a two-tone house a woodwork house. We have a lot more options now. To be honest though, I don't think I particularly like any of these. I mean, that looks kind of cute, but I think I still prefer my original house. I like that there's like pastel pink doors and stuff. Maybe I can figure out a way to decorate my house better another time. But at the moment, I'm not seeing anything that's really making me like it more than my current house. I was hoping for a couple more options, but that's okay. Okay, so hopefully you guys saw yesterday that I actually paid off my money at Harv's Island, so we're going to go meet someone very special. Okay, so here we are back again at Harv's Island. Oh look, and there's a nook machine here now. So hopefully we can use that to get bells out today. Oh my goodness, can you see? Oh wait, and Harriet's doing haircuts. Wait, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, but Tortimer, oh my goodness. <gasps> look, he's so cute. Grandpa Tortimer's here. Oh my goodness. Hey, I've got someone I'd like you to meet, Lulu. This is Tortima. He specializes in delivering and holding your belongings. That's not all I do. <laughs> <laughs> I was a mare when this one here was still wearing doggy diapers. I know, I remember. You've always been my mare, Tortima. Bah. Anyway, the name's Tortima, and suppose half here is correct. I'm here to manage your belongings. Whether you're sending them to your house or receiving them from who knows where, I'm your tortoise. I just couldn't stay retired. Not with whippersnappers out here making me feel old. I'm still in my prime. Definitely, Tortima. You definitely are. Anyhow, see you around, kiddo. I told old Tortima that he was welcome to just relax and enjoy the place, but, well, you can see he had different ideas. Good luck with everything, and I'll see you around. Oh, look at him, his little gardening magazine, his green tea. I don't know if you caught the name earlier, but I'm Tortima. And you are? Lulu, it's a pleasure to meet you, Lulu. I mean, we've met many, many times before, but yeah, nice to meet you too. <laughs> now, contrary to what some of the young'uns might think, there's still a bit of a get up and go under this shell. Could a fossil run a delivery service? No, it could not. Hehe, <laughs> horror. <laughs> if you want to put something into your storage or take something out, come to me and I'll get you fixed up. Pretty nifty, eh? Retirement style, and this keeps me busy. Anywho, you swing by whenever you like, Sprout. Aw, he called me Sprout, just like the old times. I'm gonna cry. I love you, Tortima. Look how cute. <laughs> his little hat, his little beard, his little glasses, and his little eyes, and his little mouth, and his little magazine, his little feet, and his little cane, and his little flowers on his RV. Oh my goodness. I think any new players are just like, why should I care about this old tortoise? Well, you just don't understand. You had to be there. You had to be there, okay? This is literally my grandpa. I love him. 
He's the best. Tortima has so many good lines in all the old games. He's hilarious. He's kind of evil. I love him. He's secretly just like absolutely crazy. I love him. <laughs> he's the best. I'm so happy he's in the game, even if he's just here so I can access my storage. I just love seeing him just sat there. Look at him. He's wonderful. I love him. Look at him. Look at him in his little shirt. Oh my goodness, he's literally so cute. My heart feels so warm. I'm so happy. I am full of joy. Grandpa Tortima is here to make me feel happy again. If you didn't know, Tortima was the mayor in like basically all the other Animal Crossing games except New Leaf. And... When I first met him, he was mayor of Lil Land, my original Wild World town. And of course, I took over from him when he decided to retire, when I got older, in New Leaf. And now we're just chilling out on a desert island and he helps me with my storage. The story all makes sense. And I'm so happy to be with Grandpa Tortima again. <laughs> he makes me smile so much. This is one of the best days in my Animal Crossing Let's Play. Hey there, Sprout. Need something? I would like to put some items in my storage, please. Oh, I don't need my lighthouse. Here you go, take my lighthouse. Anything else you need? No, I'm good. If you say so, Sprout. Heh <laughs> heh, <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. I love you, Tortima. You're right back into Animal Crossing, right where you deserve. He must have got bored being retired in New Leaf, huh? So, also while we're here today, I need to pay off this little Lloyd because I really want to meet Katrina tomorrow. And I have the money. So, next time we'll be able to meet Katrina. We just reached our goal of 100,000 bells. Isn't that great? The new co-op will open soon. Hooray! We reached our donation goal. We'll be able to meet Katrina tomorrow. So excited. And now we get to see Harriet who's going to cut our hair. I didn't expect her to unlock this quickly. Oh, Lulu, welcome. Think I could interest you in a makeover? Yes. I used to be a hairdresser once upon a time. Been a while, but my clippers are still sharp and so is my style. It's true, you look amazing in this game, Harriet. <laughs> I'm sitting on some bold hairstyles and I'm just itching to try them out. What do you say, Shug? I'll give it a try. Glad to hear it, Sugar. Hop into my chair so you can get started. Oh, and we'll need to uncover that beautiful head of yours, won't we? Oh yeah, remove my halo, it's fine. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay. Oh, she isn't going to ask us any questions? She's just going at it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're all set, Shug, and you look fabulous. No! Oh my god, I'm balding. I mean, it's cute, but I'm balding. It's not, it's not me. It's not me. Oh no, Harriet, what have you done? I love you, but what have you done? <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you think? Do you like your new hairstyle? Um, no. Oh no. Oh no? Oh no, not a fan of this style? I'm sorry, Shug. Oh, I feel so bad. Should I undo this do and give you the old look back? Oh, yes, please. Leave it to me, hon. I'll have your hair fixed in a jiffy. Yay! <laughs> She's so cute. Oh my goodness. That was fun. There we go, just as it was before. You're all set, hon. You probably won't like every new style fresh out the chair, but don't be afraid to mix things up. Each new style is sure to grow on you eventually. Get it? That's just a bit of haircut humor for you, Shug. <laughs> okay, Sugar, you're all set. Yay! Back to my old self again. <laughs> Harriet taught me a new hairstyle. I can choose it whenever I want at a vanity or mirror. Yay! I love that. This is such a better way of unlocking hairstyles than just buying them from the machine. <laughs> she did a great job, even if it just wasn't for me, you know? <laughs> it was so cute. I can't get over how cute she is with these little glasses. The glasses suit her so much and her little outfit, like her baggy jeans and her boots. I just love that for her. She's so cute. Okay, so I think we're done here for today. But next time we'll hopefully get to meet Katrina. Which will be so exciting. Then we can get our fortune told. Oh, we got some more Nook Miles. Nice to meet you, Gyroid. You've discovered your first Gyroid. This special occasion deserves Miles. Yes, yes. I love that we get miles for collecting gyroids, that's so exciting. So now we've finished at Harv's Island and we've had our hair cut and we've done so many fun things already. Oh my goodness, we've got our gyroid. If you remember, we have a very exciting quest we agreed to go on with Blathers. Today we go on a quest to find the legendary Brewster. So let's go see Caffin and head off on our way. Our trip failed, cost you 1,000 miles. I only have 1,800, but yes, tink them all. Time to set sail. Watch your step as you hop on board. Oh my goodness, this is Cap'n's Castaways. We are castaways. Oh my 
Lily's he's mentioning Leilani. Oh. oh my gosh, that's so lovely. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute. That's so lovely. That's such a lovely thing to say. Okay, here we are. Yara, we've arrived. I'll be here waiting for you when you're needing tools or if you wanted to set sail for home. No, it's the same season and the same fruit again. But we've got roses this time. But <gasps> oh my gosh! Brewster! <laughs> what is he wearing? Brewster! <gasps> oh, I love your hat. Oh my goodness, Brewster. Oh my goodness. Hello? Oh, he just, <laughs> he's just like, um, who are you? Goodbye, walks off. Come back. Yes, look at you. You look amazing. I love your gyroid t-shirt, your little hat. You look incredible. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Ta -da! We found him. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> got Brewster in the game I'm so happy two years later we finally get to see our favorite pigeon boy it won't let me push him over here so we can actually see him so please come here Brewster come here so I can say hello hi Koo, you out here looking for gyroids too his voice is so deep <laughs> that's right well you know a Brewster uh, yeah I'm looking for gyroids I hope you find a gyroid oh <laughs> thank you Koo, you need something? I'm looking for you, silly. You're looking for me? Mind if I ask what you're after? My well, brother's actually sent me to get you. I see. I hear you. Tell him that for me. <laughs> Tell him that you said I hear you? <laughs> oh, and also... Ooh! This is yours if you want it. It's a gyroid fragment. Plant it in the ground, give it some water and some time. It'll grow up strong the next day. Gyroids take root fast when you return them to the ground. Well, thank you. Well then, be seeing you. Oh. <laughs> he just wants me to tell Bathus that he said I hear you. Are you coming to my island or not? Well then, be seeing you. No! <laughs> Are you coming or not? Did I do something wrong? Bruce looks amazing. He said I hear you, but are you coming or not? Well then, I'll be seeing you on your island soon. Yes! Oh my goodness! Yay! This is the best day ever! Oh my goodness! I'm so excited, I'm so happy. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Bruce is coming back! He's gonna be reunited with Blathers! This is literally the best day ever. Oh, we got another gyroid fragment! That means we get to bury two gyroids today. The one Brewster gave us and this other one. I wonder if the one Brewster gave us will be special. Well, it was so nice seeing you, Brewster. I can't wait to see you on my island. It doesn't look like there's anything new on this island other than Brewster, which in itself is amazing. That's more than enough. So I'm fine with that. So I'll see you soon, Brewster. Bye-bye. I love you. Okay, so let's head back to our island. Poop deck? <laughs> this is the first time I've seen the word poop in Animal Crossing. They really just said poop. I love that. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's head back to Blathers and go tell him that we saw Brewster. I'm sure he's going to be so excited. Ooh, are you still searching for that certain coffee curating Columba Day? I don't know that word. Hopefully I said it right. <laughs> By which I mean Brewster. Yes, I found him. Who? And allow me to add Hoot. Why, that is simply wonderful news. Do tell, what did he have to say? He said, I hear you. Oh, that's simply marvellous news. What a relief. <laughs> I like that they can understand each other. That Brewster is a punctual and precise fellow, so I expect he'll make his way here forthwith. Hey, what? I suppose that means... Oh dear, I must make arrangements for his arrival straight away. Who? To that end, I'm afraid I'll need to close the museum to all visitors tomorrow for construction. Yes! That's okay! I'm so excited! If everything goes as planned, we shall reopen the day after next with cafe service in place. Yay! It's my sincere hope that you will join us for a cup of joe on that date. Of course I will! Yes, of course, of course. Oh my goodness! We did it! We finally are getting 
The Roost and Brewster together with Blathers once again are so excited. So tomorrow the museum will be under construction and then the next day we will get Brewster. We get to reunite with Brewster. I was so excited. Of course I'll record it so you guys can experience it all with me, especially for those of you that don't have New Horizons. I guess it's time to sit on this little bench and make sure we appreciate him for the time he has served us here in the Land Museum. Thank you, left side upstairs bench. Um, you've been a treasure to all of us and you'll be sorely missed, but we're getting something better, a replacement of you. Unfortunately, you won't be that badly missed, but I will miss you little bench over here. <laughs> so let's head back outside. Okay, so I just bought some more cooking recipes. I didn't even know they were available here. I just saw them in the shop. Delight the eyes and stomachs of your neighbors with all your delicious creations. Hmm? So we got some Nook Miles for buying those. And let's see what new recipes we have. We've got tomato puree, whole wheat flour, brown sugar, seaweed soup, and this organic bread. Oh my goodness, it's a basket of bread. I need it in my life. Oh my goodness, I'm favoriting that. I love it. <laughs> we also have carrot cake. It's so cute. I want to make some of that for Ruby. And brown sugar cupcakes. Oh, everything's so cute. I'm so excited to get new crops and actually be able to make a lot of these food items. <laughs> okay, we finally found Ruby. She's hanging out with Mint. I want to gift her the cherry smoothie I made. Oh my gosh, did you totally know I was here? I'm like totally fascinated by Mint's place. You really start to, you know, understand who someone is when you see the inside of their house. They're so cute. Oh my goodness, I love them as friends. And uh, do you want this? I made you a cherry smoothie this morning. I want to see if you have any special reaction to it. Here you go. A cherry smoothie? For me? Wow! Yummy times coming my way. Thanks so much, little ears. Here, I'll trade you. It's a delivery jacket and I hear you love those. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm glad she liked it. I wondered if she would eat it or not in front of us, but I guess not. That was still really cute though. I'm glad she liked it. So, I guess I'm going to leave it here for today, guys. We did a lot today. It was so fun. I'm really enjoying playing through all this new stuff we've got in the update. I can't wait to meet Brewster soon. I'm so excited to see the roost. Again, I've been completely offline. And the only time I go online is to quickly post like a cute picture I took in Animal Crossing on Instagram, on my Instagram story. So I've not seen anything. I've not been spoiled. I'm really excited. I hope you all enjoyed this video and enjoyed exploring Animal Crossing with me again. I'll be back again soon playing Happy Home Paradise, which I'm so excited to play. Other than that, again, I'll be back with more Animal Crossing and meeting Brewster. I'm really, really excited. So I hope you all are enjoying this as much as I am. Before I go, I do want to say an extra special thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting me this month. I thought your guys' support all these videos would not be possible and I'm so grateful for you all. Thank you all so much for everything. And to the rest of you, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a super lovely day. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing only if you want to though. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>